Hey guys, uh, it's me, Ultimate Trash. It's been a little while, it really has been. Uh, it's been like three months. Uh, today we're here to talk about how to um, get some good ore, like iron ore, and how to get, well, your Slayer each hidden. Basically, um, yeah, just a good way to get some mining, good way to get some ores. Now, before I go show you all the good locations and all my favorite places, I gotta tell you the strategy so that you don't have to like, you know, so I don't have to put you through all the pain of showing you every single location, because I know you guys want to do this pretty fast. I know you guys need to see this tutorial, so make sure to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, the strategy, basically, what you need to do is once you find the spot with the, with the rock, um, I'll, I'll later on show you the specific type of ore on the rock that you need to mine. And basically what you need to do is keep on leaving and then rejoining every time. And basically just serve a swap. Now, an issue that I find is that, um, I find that whenever like some of my friends are playing, I keep on joining them. So, you know... This strategy works best when you don't when you don't keep on going to the same server. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you my favorite spot where I also like to grind EXP. Or well, used to. Um, so what you need to do is come to Okuya and um start off in the little like motel tavern. And so you come on down here. And right in, to your right, you'll see here. And then you keep going. Um, and just as you reach here, you go off to the right. Now up here, there's also a, um, a demon hideout right up on that little, like, ledge. Not demon slayers, kind of into that there, obviously. And also inside this cave, you're going to find demons because they, they spawn in specifically caves and that's also where um ores mainly spawn like right there so just just ignore them also by the way you're gonna need a um a pickaxe you get that at Hayakawa um at, and you'll I'll I'll show you that later on if you don't know where it is but basically so what you do yep Papuya Cavern here we are, and so, as you walk in here, yep, demons spawn, you see this little rock over here, this is where the ores spawn, there's also the, um, the rock that's up here, and then there's some more over here, which I'll get to if I don't get killed, which I won't, don't worry. I'm just, I'm currently just trying not to waste time here. So, right down here, there will also be some ores. And basically, I'll, I'll cut to the clip where I finally find um, some ore on the rock. So, I'll jump to then. Alright, first serve, and we've already found it. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to equip your pickaxe on any slot. And so... You want to look for this ore, this ore right here. So, let's press Z, and mine it. See, look, I got some sun ore. So most of the time, you hit them twice and you get them. These, these give you iron. Iron ore isn't really that useful, unless you want to make the shotgun, which is the only thing I think you can make using iron. But yeah, that's how you get sun ore. And there's also multiple other places that you can find if you want to get this. I'll show you all that. Um, now I'm going to show you how to obtain the pickaxe. Alright, so if you have reset and you have respawned in the Okuya um, tavern, that is fine. You can just go over to the um, to the guy who you need to travel, who um, lets you travel. He's just right by this little, like, training area with a wind-breathing trainer. And this, and he can bring it to any village. It just costs 100. You guys should know this. 
And right here, here, cow. That's the that is the snow village. And you want to click on that, and he'll send you over to the to the snow village. So now that you're here, what you need to do is you need to come over here, and you'll see this little like soup shop right up here. And down there is the um, place where you respawn. You know the little motel. And then you run over here, and if you're coming from there, you just go straight forward up to him, this guy. This miner, he tells you, um, you can either sell your ores, or you can buy a pickaxe for 500. I'd really recommend getting it at the start, because if you want to get, um, you want to get the, the uh, a good sword, um, like one of the Hashira swords, you'd really need this really need sun oil i mean obvious but yeah and so now i'm going to show you all the areas that you can go to if you want to find other ways to obtain the ores and um by the way one of these areas is actually going to be useful useful for two things so i will tell you when i when i reach that area see you then all right so thanks for you guys by the way that are sticking to this point of the video because by now, you know, you wouldn't need this final piece of information that I'm going to give you because you've already found a spot, you already know how to mine, you already know what it looks like, you already know everything. So, you know, if you want to do this quick, just, just click off the video. But for all you people who are still interested in what to do, I'll show you what, what what you need to do next. Oh, I, I mean, no, no. What what other spots you can also mine at? So there are multiple caves, but I'll there's um yeah there's multiple caves. Uh, I'm pretty sure only three have ores, and the um the Okuya uh, cavern is one of them. Down here, um the Sakura passage. You get um. If you guys get lost, just, uh, just go back and look at it, and just, just look at all the, all the footage from before. So basically, you come over here, um, down to where, you'll go to the final selection, or the corpse grove, um, and also, uh, down here is also Zenitsu, so I gotta look out for him. So you come down here on this path. And right up here, you'll see see either Corpse Grove or Slayer Exam. You want to go right to the Corpse Grove, because by now you'd probably be a Slayer. Zenitsu and it's a big opening so you'll come to the right and you'll come running down here and you'll see this little opening and you'd run into here and this is this is another place where you can mine it and so basically yeah you get in here it's quite long I might I might speed this up for you guys, but you know, we're past the point where you kind of can just click off and don't need to know this. So in here is some rocks. There's three. Yeah, there's three. And some sun ore, some iron, some more, and yeah. And also, up here, I'm probably going to do a video on this one too, maybe tomorrow. And so over here, what you'll keep on doing is you keep on leaving and rejoining. And there will be something here. That's that's another way to get your custom um, Slayer Nietzsche in. And that's how I got it. Because uh, over here, lots of rare stuff spawn. Like, like the perfect crystal, which gives you 3.5 thousand. That is a lot, and I mean a lot of money, and it is totally worth getting. 
it's it's probably gonna get fixed and a lot of people do this strategy like when i was doing it it took me at least 50 servers to get to 13,000, which you know although then again a hacker did steal one of the perfect crystals i found anyways um this is only the second spot there's there's probably one more if i can remember um and no 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 there's four there's actually there's two more there's two more for me to look at so i'll see you guys when i when i reach there all right so now we're here we're um we're at the we're at hayakawa i've i've been here three times please save me and Alright, and so basically, um, yeah, uh, to correct myself, there's, there's only three. Um, the fourth one, I thought, I thought it had, may have had stones and stuff to mine, but nah, nothing. Anyways, so you start here at Hayakawa, and you don't take this lift, you don't take this lift. And then you take this lift right up here. So where we're going is White Peak, which is also the um, this is it's also the place we get flame breathing, which is the breathing I'm using right now. But that's only because of my fam. I actually would have chosen something else. But anyways, so you'd come you come running down here. Yep, you're now in the frosty forest. Remember, you you would have seen the uh, guy with the horses. And you wouldn't be going up any stairs. So you're gonna arrive up to here, and it says, and it says White Peak to the left and to the right, Kamakura Village, Okuya Village, and the Coast Forest. You wanna go to the White Peak, just right up here. And so you want to climb these rocks, and oh, you're you're really gonna love having double jump for this. It's super easy. All right, so as soon as you reach up there, you go to the lift, you jump up here, and you keep on scaling the mountain basically. And so you're gonna reach a point where you're here. Now normally a trinket spawns in here. So oh yeah, now now we've entered the white peak. So. What you do is you climb up here and you keep on running. You're gonna follow the the edge and you're gonna jump up here. You're gonna keep on running. Then you go. I'm gonna go up here onto this other ledge. You're gonna see this little ice area. That means you're going the right way. The, if you go over here, this is the wrong way. But there's a rock here, so you can mine that. It's a it's a, another place where you can mine. And now here is here is one of the harder bits. People struggle with this, but well, yeah. So you you do you do two jumps off of that. You continue up here. Ooh, someone someone's killing the the demon. It's up there. And so you continue going up. And right up here is the hard bit. So there's ice. Now what you want to do instead of going straight up. What you do is you carefully go around. And so once you've reached here, you jump and then you get up. And now now that you've reached here, there's two ways you can go. To the right is the flame breathing trainer. To the left is um is a cave. And in here there are two stones and there's the axe um demon. Which you're gonna you're actually gonna find pretty easy to dodge. And so basically over here Ors will spawn. Let's see, that's that's the axe demon. All right, you're probably gonna find one demon, and so you're gonna come over to here, and there's gonna be more, uh, more ores for you to mine, and so yeah, that's that's all the caves that you can actually mine. That's every cave. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you if you enjoyed it. Make sure to give me some feedback, by the way, because this time I'm actually going to try do this video. And this is my first one in a while. And yeah.
good luck with getting a custom sword. I might do some breathing um, train uh, location um, type videos. Oh, especially mist, because they're they're pretty hard to find. I struggled with it, even with a video. Well, not really. Um, but yeah, just just make sure to keep an eye out for my content. Uh, if you if you do subscribe, maybe ring that bell. You know, just maybe. I've reached the I've I've gone past the point where I where I get money, you know. <laughs> even the, without even stretching, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here's a train. Hey, nice sword. Can relate to your sword, by the way. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm I'm not gonna post again today. And it's just not worth it. Hope you guys are having a good day, or good night, or whatever the hell the time is for you. Um, just hope you're having a good day, or well, good time. See you later.